Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to create and run our first intermediate DBT models and tests. So basically, in the first video itself, I've explained to you about the DBT and you know how a DBT project looks like. It is used as a transformation tool, right? So you extract the data into the staging layer and then you apply the transformations. You try to do joins on the intermediate layer. So in this case, we are going to create intermediate DBT models. These intermediate DBT models will take the data from the staging models and then we will join the data together to produce the intermediate tables so let's move ahead and see exactly how we can do this but before moving on in case you guys have not subscribed to my channel i do recommend subscribing to my channel and do remember to like as well so as we proceed right this has been our project where we have created these staging tables right e stage e-commerce order items you know, we have our orders table as well, products. So from the open source data set, we have created these three staging tables. Now we will take the data from order items and products, and we will join these two together based on ID column, based on the product ID column, which is present in the order table, order item table, and based on the product ID column present in the product table, we are going to join these two together and create our intermediate layer or create our intermediate tables so let's move ahead and before moving ahead let me also copy this uh, because you know to save the time uh, i have actually written down already uh, you know where, where i can directly copy it from so if you can go over here these are the all the models that we created last time right so if you go to models and if you create a new folder over here you can name it as intermediate right because this is the place where you are actually going to store all your intermediate files so here you can click on new file and you can simply say dot sql so here i have given the name of the file similarly you can also give any name that you want to so int basically refers for intermediate this is just for the formatting purpose you can name it as anything e-commerce order items pro product so basically i'm joining order items and the products so here we will be writing sql for it now i'll just clear this output now if you see this is the place where we are going to write sql so now what I'll directly go, I will simply copy my model code from here and I'll paste it. Now, if you see what exactly is happening over here, right now, side by side, I will also open another code. Let me open e-commerce order item. So if you look over here, you know, when we created this order items staging model, right? What we did is with source as and we gave select star from source, the e the look e-commerce so basically this was an open source data set present in bigquery so we were using source function and we were reading the data from here now when you come back right to the intermediate so here we have to take the data from the already built staging model right so already built staging models are these so if you see sta stage e-commerce order items and stage e-commerce products so you have to refer to these two tables now now in this case what we will see with the now here if you see i'm just creating a CTE function common table expression in a SQL. Now, instead of source, I am saying REF. REF is nothing, but it means that refer to the model that I have mentioned over here, model or the table, right? Refer to this particular table, which I have mentioned over here. This table is created by the model stage e-commerce products. So this is how you actually refer it now if you see with products as i'm i'm taking product ids department cost and retail price so if you go to the product tables i'm taking product id retail price cost and department so these are the four columns that i am taking it from here so i have mentioned it in a cte called as product now in the below query i'm saying select order item id now if i go to the uh, order item table what I'm doing over here, I'm saying order item ID, I'm taking order item ID, I'm taking order ID, I'm taking user ID and I'm taking product ID. So I'm taking order ID, user ID and product ID. So basically I'm using all these uh, columns and then I'm saying item sale price as well. So I'm basically taking all the columns from here, right? And also I'm taking and then 
uh, I'm also doing a left join if you see on the products at the which I mentioned at the top now when I'm doing left join I'm doing it based on the product ID and when I do it when when I do the join based on product ID I'm fetching these column from the product table and as well as you can see that I am doing a minus between the two costs to get the item profit and item discount so basically a small level of a transformation I'm applying it over here and this becomes my SQL model for intermediate layer now similarly for the intermediate layer what I can also do is let me create a new file which will be nothing but my uh, SQL file uh, which will be my YAML file so let me copy the name from here for my file and you can keep any name okay so this name is not actually uh, very important uh, at the, in the uh, in, um, in the dbt project let me create a new file let me put the name and then i'll tell you about the name as well dot yaml so if you see over here right here the name the uh, if i go to the yaml let me copy the code and then i'll tell you and let me paste over here so basically if you see here name does not matter so basically the name of your this file right will not matter because eventually what is this file doing the moment you run this file what will happen is it is going to say that model name so it is actually going to refer to the name of the model so this is important rather than so if i go here right what is the name of your model this is the name of your model right in it e-commerce order item product so this name actually matters rather than the outer file name right and let me rename it to yml just to maintain the consistency now uh, if you see over here in this YAML file, what exactly I'm doing? It is pretty much the same what we have done for the staging layer as well. So if you see, this is the name of my model for which this YAML file would run. What is the description? Order item data joined with product data. What are the columns that I'm putting pulling in? What are the tests? Not null and unique. So these are the uh, major uh, tests that have been defined over here. Let me put it as name and this. Okay, so uh, now you can actually see that for each and every column that I am pulling in, right, what I am trying to do, I am trying to say that these are the names, these are the name of the columns which my model has, these are the basic tests that you have to perform, not null or the unique test and then you have to give the description of that particular column. So these are little pretty basic checks, we are going to go through more advanced set of tests as well in upcoming videos but first at least we will build our first dbt model end to end which ha we have been doing it throughout the video so we have created staging and now we are creating intermediate then we will create the mart as well so now i hope you understood the, the this whole part of yaml because all of this was discussed in the previous videos as well and i do recommend please watch all the previous videos that is when you will actually understand uh, you know why we are doing what we are doing in this particular video so as I proceed I can simply say dbt run and I can simply mention minus s minus s is nothing but is select select this particular uh, model and just simply run it so the moment I do this what happens is my intermediate model has started running so by this time if you are doing hands-on along with me you would be pretty much comfortable in doing you know in creating a sql and a yaml file in you must understand what is a dbt project what is a dbt project.yaml file what is package.yaml file all the basic commands so now you can see actually all this has successfully run so basically what i have done i run the model now similarly if I want to run the test, right, I can simply say dbt test minus s and I can simply say this is the test that I want to run. So it will eventually go ahead and it will run this particular test as well. Now you can actually see that it is running the test and it says pass, pass, pass and pass and completed successfully. So I hope you understood this. And now if I go to the BigQuery project and let's say we refresh it we refresh the contents and if I completely refresh it then you will actually see that if I open my project over here we should have this particular table dbt my under dbt my project one you can see that I have this view created init co commerce order items products 
right basically this is the sql model that we have created uh, in uh, int is nothing but intermediate so this these are the exact columns that we have derived from our sql model so i hope you like this particular video you understood basically what does it mean and what it is for um, and please keep watching all the videos in sequence and do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for being till here